It's a snack that's made to stack. Unlike other chips that come in irregular shapes and sizes, these chips have a uniform concave shape that allows them to tightly interlock and fit neatly in a tubular container. The process for making these tubes starts with big rolls of plain brown paper and foil back paper that help keep the chips fresh. The streams of paper travel across rollers that apply a coat of glue. The paper layers then twist around the mandrel that's turned by a big belt. The belt also presses the glued layers together. Next, the label paper gets a coat of glue. This helps it stick to the paper on the mandrel. A camera photographs the white edging on the label paper, then relays its location to a set of circular knives. They make a precise cut just below the white edging. Cued by the camera, the carriage then moves the knives into position for the next cut. The tubes then head into a turning station. A box with a pathway inside that flips the tubes right side up. Hot metal heads curl the tops to accommodate lids. A roller pulls foil backed paper into a cutter that punches out the lid shapes. Little vacuums take the lids to the tubes and heat seal them on. Plastic lids go over the paper ones. The lidded tubes are now turned upside down, ready to be stacked with chips. The chip recipe is one-third water to two-thirds potato flakes with a little cornstarch mixed in. A conveyor delivers the mix to an auger which disperses it. Then it sets out on the production line. Using four tons of pressure, the mix is rolled into one long potato sheath. A rotary cutter then punches out oval shapes. A device pulls away the scrap dough, leaving flat, uncooked chips. This scrap dough goes back into the chip making process, while the potato chips head for the fryer. As they travel through the fryer, rolling molds give the chips their uniformly concave shape, making them more easily stackable. The chips spend 11 seconds in hot oil crisping. Then they travel under blowers to get rid of excess oil. The chips get a coat of seasoning, then do a backflip off one conveyor and onto another, falling into neat piles. A worker inspects the rows of chips. Then it's on to another conveyor that shakes them up to loosen the stack. They travel over scales to be portioned out for packaging. Automated spoons shove the chips into the open ends of the tubes. Guides tap the tops of the tubes to nudge the chips into position. Grippers then lower the stacks of tubes to a station where spinning heads force metal bottoms onto them. Now, they're ready for shipping. It takes about 20 minutes to make a tube of stackable chips, but it takes less time to polish them off.